So Trisha Paytas recently went through it and she broadcast it on Instagram. And there's a lot from this situation that all of us can learn from. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community and see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And, and did you know, did you know my brand new book, Rewire Your Anxiety, is out now. So if you struggle with anxiety or know somebody who struggles with anxiety, check out the description as well as the pinned comment down below. There's links, I have both the ebook and the audio book up in there for you. All right, so go grab yourself a copy. And thank you everybody who entered the giveaway and has been giving me feedback and enjoying it. Oh, I love it so much. All right, but anyways, Let's get started. And before we get started, let me make a disclaimer, okay? Those of you who don't know me, like this video isn't as much about Trisha Paytas as it is about you and me and all of us. Like here's, here's the issue that I found with myself that I know a lot of you struggle with as well. Is we sit here and we watch all this stuff. We watch all this stuff go down and we don't look at it and say, okay, what can I learn? How, how am I acting in my own life? What am I doing wrong? Can I relate to this? Because a lot of people watch YouTube and watch YouTubers because they can relate. I know a lot of people watch Trisha Paytas because they can relate to what she's going through. Hell, I can relate to a lot of what Trisha Paytas goes through. Like my mental health used to be just a, a hot mess, all right? I've been working really hard for the last seven years and I ended up working at an addiction treatment center. I ended up, you know, working through, um, my life coaching certification, I'm working on a certified alcohol and drug counselor license, and I'm always trying to educate myself on this stuff. Because the thing is, not only have I been able to get on the other side of this thing, but I try to use my experience or other experiences that we're consuming to help others to see what we can learn from it, all right? So anyways, I'm going to show you a clip, it's kinda long, bear with me, uh, from Trisha Paytas' Instagram story. I had some people send it to me, but I didn't save it or record it in time. So this is uh, from Drama Investigator, another channel, I'll link that down below. <laughs> I just um, wanna say thank you to everyone who's reaching out to me. everybody and I, and I ruined everyone's lives including my mom I just fucking can't do this shit because at the end of the day I can't sustain any sort of love or anything in my life fuck <laughs> fuck so fucking sorry to every single person I've hurt in this world like I'm so <laughs> Fucking sorry. Like, I just, it's so, I wish you could just know my fucking intentions in my heart. <laughs> I just want people to be happy. I just want me, I just want myself to be happy. And fucking no one gives me a fucking chance. <laughs> no one gives me a fucking chance. And things that like once make me happy do not make me happy anymore. I'm trying so hard every day to find something to make me happy. And it's just to hear one more person say, just be fucking happy, just stop being depressed, fucking stop airing your shit out. I will fucking explode, like, don't fucking get it. Don't fucking get it. <laughs> I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. <laughs> I used to be so happy in life. I used to be so full of hope. <laughs> and I'm just sad all the time for no reason. I'm just always fucking sad and alone 
empathetic. And for those people who just constantly try and bring me down, like, I'm already fucking down. You can't make me feel any lower than I already fucking feel. That's so scary. I'm just so fucking low and done and out. I just don't care. And I'm just praying to stop feeling this low. I just stop feeling this hatred towards myself. I just want it to stop. I pray every day for that strength. I just need to get through. Imagine having a life <laughs> where there is no one that truly cares about you. <laughs> There's not one person I can call that knows my shit and just knows how to make me feel better. It's just... <laughs> I've just loved that life. I just am a shitty person, I guess, that I don't have one person that I could call. Be like so broken and so beyond repair. It's like there's nothing anyone can say or do to at this point. There's just nothing. I just feel like I don't even have like a soul. I don't like I I just feel completely, completely empty. Like empty, empty. So anyways, the first thing I want to say, like, let's let's do the sandwich method, all right? If you don't know what the sandwich method is, okay, like Nerd City actually just talked about it in their new video, or The Devil in Nerd City's new video, they talk about the sandwich method. Good thing, bad thing, continue with the good thing, all right? So the good thing is, like, Trisha Paytas ended up doing a follow-up, which I appreciate, talking about how she was going through it, and, like, you can come out on the other side, and she said some things to motivate others who might be struggling with that, all right? But... Here's the thing, and one of the reasons I make my videos is like when you have such a massive influence, like we need we need to talk. And this is for all of you as well. Like you're not, you know, most of you watching this are not an influencer at the caliber of Trisha Paytas, but here's something I hear a lot of influencers talk about where like this is their therapy, right? It's not. It definitely isn't. Like I actually just recorded a podcast. By the way, go check out my podcast. It's on Spotify and Apple and everything. But I talked about how like we can't just keep broadcasting all of our feelings and emotions out there and expect ourselves to get better. I have never met somebody in my life who is doing phenomenally well, just mentally, and they're like, yo, I got out of this really dark place, and somebody's like, yo, well, what'd you do? And they're like, you know what? I broadcast everything out there for many years, and it finally worked, right? Like, we have to be mindful of that. Like, I used to do this. I used to, like, back in the day, back in my day, like, those of you who remember AOL Instant Messenger, like, I used to do that stuff, like, with the away messages and put, like, emo lyrics and quotes and, like, everybody needs to know my pain and my struggle. But, like, that never made me better. You know what I mean? And there's there's a, an issue that a lot of us struggle with with oversharing. Now, don't get me wrong. We all need people to talk to. Like, the thing that I think is one of the most important things we could do for our mental health is having a support group, people who are there. But these are people who are there to listen to us. But we also could use a journal or this is what a therapist is there for, to listen to these things. And don't get me wrong, like I absolutely love, I absolutely love when influencers use their platform to get real and raw and honest and talk about what they're going through, but there's a certain point where it just keeps happening. So when I see Trisha Paytas, like I look at this and I'm constantly analyzing because I need to learn from this stuff as well because I put a lot of effort into my mental health and it's like, okay, what am I doing, right? Like why is this working for me but it's not working for others? Because Trisha Paytas, if those of you who are following her, like she has been going to therapy. She talked about like an anxiety workbook she had. So real quick note, as I was editing this, I remembered something I wanted to talk about in this video, which was a while back, Trisha Paytas mentioned when she first started going back to therapy and they mentioned getting on antidepressants and she said she doesn't like taking medication. So I do not know if she started taking medications or not, but if you can relate to what's going on with Trisha Paytas, give medications a try antidepressants, anti-anxiety medications. I personally recommend non-addictive ones like Lexapro, Prozac, things like that. There are also medications like mood stabilizers that can help you out if you're having a lot of ups and downs and all that stuff. But you should always receive a proper diagnosis as well so they're treating the right thing. And here's the issue, like, for some of us, like something I used to do was just consume this information, but I didn't put it to practical use. Like I can sit in a therapy office, I can sit in group therapy, I can read all the books 
right? But unless I take action steps and start developing healthy habits, I am screwed, okay? Because like I sit there and I imagine, like if if, if I was working with a client like Trisha Paytas, okay, like when, when they told me like, yeah, the other day I went on Instagram and I just totally broke down and everything like that, I'd be like, okay, but what did you do about it, right? And I would imagine the response would be like, what do you mean? I went on Instagram and I shared my feelings. No, what did you do about it? Because when we're going to therapy, when we're reading books and acquiring all these coping skills, the goal is to actually use them. There are things that work and there's a big difference between common sense and common action. And don't get me wrong, like I get it. I get it and I empathize. Like when we are in that dark place, we don't wanna to talk to anybody. We don't want people checking in on us. We don't feel like anybody cares or we're not worth caring about. I get that, but these are lies that depression tells us. These are lies that anxiety tells us. These are lies that addiction tells us, all right? We have to do certain things and sometimes that's picking up the phone and talking to somebody or meditating or anything like that. And like, I come from 12 step programs where spirituality is a big thing, where I'm not religious, but I am spiritual and like something that I was taught a long time ago is faith without works is dead so we can't just pray for things to get better we need to take the steps forward for things to get better so the next day when Trisha came out on the other side of this thing she said this hey guys I just wanted to pop in here real quick and say first and foremost thank you guys so much for all the love and support you give me every single day through everything. <laughs> I know I'm a lot, I'm a lot for myself. I can't imagine what it's like to know me in real life or follow me. It would, it, um, I just, I just thank you. So yeah, she talked about all the love and support and everything like that in the emails. Like this might help you, okay? This is one of the reasons why journaling is so beneficial. But if you have to like have a folder on your computer of the kind, nice things that people say. But like a journal is very beneficial because not all of you out there are influencers and you're not getting emails like Trisha Paytas did and things like that. But like a journal is very beneficial because what happens, look, I actually have it right next to my desk. Here, here you go. Screw it, I'll tell you. So something I did the other day, I went to the store, I got this journal for one dollar, one little dollar, okay? And I keep it right at my desk. And throughout the day, whenever I'm feeling some type of way, whether it's good or bad, I start writing in this journal and say what's going on, what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking. Um, this has also been beneficial because I'm, I've been working on learning more about rational emotive behavioral therapy, REBT, and it helps me write down the thoughts that are going through my head. But like I have good days and bad days. So when I'm going through a bad day, I can flip through this journal and say, oh, okay, because depression tells us that things are gonna be bad forever. But we have evidence that it's not never going to get better. We have good days and we have bad days. And something that we expect sometimes is that every day is gonna be a good day. And that is an unrealistic expectation. All right, so like in Trisha Paytas' case, if Trisha Paytas was my client, I'd be like, save those emails. Save those, don't just post them to your Instagram story and show other people. Save those emails and go back to them when you're in a dark place. But here's the thing, the last tip I'll give you, be proactive about your mental health. The goal is to set up healthy habits so when crap hits the fan, you are automatically going to do that healthy coping skill that you've learned, all right? So don't only do it when you're feeling awful, do it when you're feeling well too, all right? Like meditate, not just when you're having an anxiety attack, meditate on good days too. That way you're developing the habit, all right? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below, like are you somebody who is like, shared too much on the internet like and let me know if i'm wrong if i'm completely wrong if that has like fixed you and that's been more, more beneficial than therapy like let me know i know when i used to do it it was purely seeking attention i wanted people to tell me they love me and know you're good chris and all these other things right but anyways let me know your experience down in the comments below and don't forget rewire your anxiety is available now down in the description down in the pinned comment all right but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because i make a ton of videos and a huge huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you're all amazing and all of you wonderful patrons out there don't forget you all get free copies of rewire your anxiety i made the post yesterday go get your files all right thanks again for watching i'll see you next time